lot of goddamn good Rucker being dead is going to do for us. Your orders were to bring him in. I fully intended to. Then how did this happen? Rucker was convinced someone wanted him to disappear. Instead of pointing fingers, we need to focus on finding out who it was. What did we get back on Viktor Marchenko? I ran the name through iLink. Didn't get shit. Why? Are you saying it was him? That Rucker was done in by his own people? I think Rucker knew who was behind the frame, yeah. Or at the very least, he had suspicions. You think? We can speculate all day, Jensen. But without evidence, we have nothing. Rucker could have told us who was behind these attacks. He might have shed new light on Dubai. Now with him dead... Christ. What a mess. You know word of Rucker's death is going to spread, don't you? And when that happens, the head of state police assures me Golem City will become a war zone. We can't let that happen. I hope we're good on juice, Chicane, because I need a ride. As for you, Agent... I still have a case to solve, and I know exactly where to start, Director. Smiley's had more than enough time to analyze that DSD I gave him. The one you took from Rizika? I'll check in with him, see what's on it. After that, I'll go where the evidence takes me. I intend to make sure the right people are brought to justice for this, whether they're augmented or not. Get a move on. Before this case gets any colder, and keep me in the loop. Let's go, Chicane. Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the Augmented. People loved him for it. When word of this hits, Prague is gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that Versalife break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Viktor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. Can't believe a word they say. Jensen inside. Whew. Will you look at that? Oh, hey. Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to. Check on my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So. Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like the bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanic. Stanic? The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? 
Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so using a low-tech solution is really clever. Static watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Mm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Got it. Nomad Stanek, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. Clockman's clock is ticking. Good one. Come on, let's blow this place. Okay. I'm That's granted.
what did I say? Keep an eye out, Nomad. And now, they... You're a good man. A good craftsman. But what did I say? Keep an eye out, Nomad. And now, they come to me to take care of you. Business is business, my friend. You are a true artist. Smiley, Stanek wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment, and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. Sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Stanek. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No. I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child, gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... she was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her, and now they intend to make her disappear.
What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the ascension, whatever that is. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they call it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her. And now they plan to discard her. Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he...? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well-known and respected. Reddish liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison. So we strike a deal. But deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! <laughs> 